In this video, we're taking a quick look at Record Cloud. It's a DJ library management service that lets you do a lot of stuff to keep your music collection trim and healthy. So much in fact that the developers call it the Swiss Army Knife for DJs. Find out in this overview video whether or not it lives up to that mark. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Now, let's get straight to it. So the way it works is you first upload your DJ library data to Record Cloud. And the service is compatible with Serato DJ, Virtual DJ, Tractor, and Recordbox. Note that you're not actually uploading your music files, just the music library data or the collection file. If you're using Serato DJ or Recordbox DJ, there's a companion app that needs downloading as well. Now, Record Cloud is a subscription service that costs $15 a month or $7.50 a month if paid annually. Now, once your library data is in there, Record Cloud will analyze your collection, crunch all the data, and present you with infographics that show up in the dashboard. And you'll see a pie chart that shows you what genres your music library has and their distribution. And you also have BPM distribution, which is essentially a bar graph that shows you track BPMs and which ones are dominant in your collection. Now, for this review, what I did was I created a demo collection over in here, plus I created one playlist. Now I'm going to give you a short rundown of all of the features. And after that, for the rest of the video, we're going to focus on the track discovery and DJ library conversion features, which I think are standouts for Record Cloud. All right, so here we go. The features in Record Cloud fall under four categories. Performance, analysis, exporting and sharing, and library management. So let's take a look at performance first. Performance has the similar tracks feature, which shows you the songs in your collection that go well with a song that you've chosen. And it's similar to the track recommendations feature found in Recordbox, Virtual DJ, and other DJ apps. So what you do is you select a bass track. Let's say I want this one. There we go. And then I'm going to get a list of suggestions for songs to play next. Now what I can do is I've got these songs here. I can change you know, the genre. I can filter it according to genre. I've got the BPM range here as well as ratings if I'm using a rating system. So here we go. Once you've got all of these, these can inform your playlisting decisions later on. All right, next let's go to the analysis section. And analysis has track discovery, which is what we're going to talk about in a little bit. We're going to dive into this a bit deeper. Next up, music charts. This pulls genre charts from Apple Music and you can make playlists out of them or you know you can buy the songs from iTunes. So let's try this right now. I'm going to click on dance. And then we're going to find all of the results over in here and I can be like, oh, I can play them back if I want to. And then I can open an iTunes to purchase it. I can also note that I already have this track and let's say I do that. What I can then do is I can enable or disable show tracks I own over in here. And then the tracks that I do own, I can then save to a playlist by clicking on this button. So it's pretty cool. All right, now let's move on over to Cue Point Generator. This basically lets Record Cloud add hotkeys automatically based on a set of criteria. And you're going to need to open up the Record Cloud companion app. Now, since this is just an overview video, we're not going to go into detail regarding the Record Cloud Companion app and its features. Now, let's go to Vocal Splitter, and this extracts the vocals from a song, letting you create your own acapellas and instrumentals. This is also available over on the Record Cloud Companion app. Next up, you've got Track Matcher, which lets you quickly make a playlist based on a list of songs that you either upload that you can paste or that you can find on Spotify. So this is handy if you're working with, say, event organizers or, you know, you do a lot of weddings and you work with couples a lot and they want to hear like a set of music, they'll send you a list of their songs. What you can do is you can simply copy and paste it over in here in Track Matcher and then this will look for the songs in your DJ library and you can then turn that into a playlist so that, you know, you don't have to do it manually. So that's pretty handy. Next up, let's move on over to exporting and sharing over in here. And this has the download library feature, which basically lets you choose if you want to convert your DJ library into one that can be read by a different software. So let's say I want to download and convert uh, the Serato DJ library that I uploaded earlier. I just click on this one. 
And now I can choose whether I want to download it as Rekordbox, as Tractor, as Virtual DJ. And once I've downloaded, I can then install them and it's different for each app. I'm going to show you later on in this video how it works for Virtual DJ, right? And next up, you've got the export to file and the share feature. So these basically generate a spreadsheet or text file that has a list of all the songs in your library. Now, lastly, let's head on over to library management. Now, library management has track editor, which lets you make changes to track tags. So you can choose songs from your entire library. Just by clicking on this one. And let's say I want to edit this. For example, I can click edit track and now I have all of these fields to fill up, change or remove if I want to and that's cool. Having done that, I can click on continue and now I can make more changes here. So I can change the casing if I want to, I can change the color if I've got track colors in there. This dependent on your DJ software, of course. Next up, you've got Playlist Editor. This lets you edit playlists as the name suggests. So I've got a playlist over in here already. And I can do a bunch of things. I can edit this and add songs to it if I want to. Edit tracks and then, you know, I can add tracks if I want to just by clicking on this one. Or I can go back and I can duplicate this if I want to. Just click on that one and then I can choose copy. Just go copy one, let's say. And now I've got a copy of this and I can edit this if I want to. I can remove tracks that I don't need here, etc. Next up, you've got Smart Fixes. And the cool thing about Smart Fixes is these let you do tweaks across your collection. You know, stuff like fixing the casing, whether tracks are all uppercase or all lowercase, the record cloud can fix that so they're spelt properly. You can also remove the number prefixes, which is handy if, you know, you're dealing with MP3s or like a music collection that you've basically been using since like the early 2000s when we used to rip CDs. Remember those? When we used to rip CDs, most of the time what would happen is they, there would be like a track number right before the track title. And that was cool back then, but today it gets kind of annoying and it takes a lot of time to remove them one by one. So having this feature in Record Cloud using smart fixes, I think it's pretty cool. All right, so apart from smart fixes, you've got health checks. Now this scans your library for duplicate tracks and also broken or missing files. And that's pretty handy, even unused files. So sometimes, you know, you've got tracks that are in there that aren't even music files. Uh, sometimes it's a text file. Next up, you got relocate files. Now this lets you specify new directories for your music files. And that's handy if you're moving from, say, a different hard drive or external drive or you know, if you just want a new file path for your DJ library music folder, this is the place to do it. So that's cool. And then you've also got genre renamer for renaming genre tags in your collection. Say you want to change all tracks with the EDM genre to big room is where you're going to do it. And finally, you've got key converter for changing musical key notations such as Camelot or open key. So that's it for that sweeping overview of the features here in Record Cloud. And I go into more detail on these features in the full written review on our site. You can find it in the description box below. I suggest you check it out after watching this video. Now, as I've mentioned, let's turn our focus to the track discovery and library conversion features. All right, so for track discovery, you can let Record Cloud recommend songs based off of playlists you've made in your DJ library or based off a playlist found in Spotify. So let's try it out with mine here. I've got one playlist, well, two since we duplicated it. I'm going to click on disk over here, click start. And then it's going to start checking for songs that are related to it. There we go. And what I like about this is that it goes to Spotify to look for the songs. So it's, even though, you know, I've only got 18 songs in my library, and let's say I want to grow my collection. I want to build my collection with songs that more or less would fit in with whatever stuff I'm currently playing. Using this feature is pretty handy. So I'm going to get like a bunch of options in here. Yeah, it's got Dua Lipa in there, some pop stuff made in France from DJ Snake. That's cool. I see a lot of house music, which is nice, as well as new disco, which pretty much what my current collection has a lot of. So I would say that this is quite effective. And I'm also seeing like a bunch of different artists in here that I've never heard of before. So that's what music discovery is all about, right? Now, what I can do is I can choose to download this as a text file if I want to take that list along 
and refer to it in my next music shopping excursion. Or I can even save it to a Spotify playlist so I can listen to all of these on the go. I don't need to be sat in front of my DJ laptop or desktop. Just save it and then I can listen to this on my phone wherever I am. So I think that's awesome. I think that's pretty handy. So I like that. Track discovery is pretty cool. Now let's go back and we just tried using it with the playlist, right? Now let's try doing it with Spotify. Now what you do here is you just copy and paste a Spotify playlist that you like and Record Cloud is going to look for songs that are similar to the ones found in that Spotify playlist. So let's try that out right now. I'm going to go to Spotify and I'm going to choose, let's say I want this playlist. Cool. I'm going to copy the link. There we are. So the artists in here, John Legend, Usher, Chloe, Victoria Monet, Megan Thee Stallion, Khalid, lots of great artists in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Record Cloud. I'm going to paste this and then I'm going to click Start. And then now it's going to crunch all that data and it will give me results that would be more or less similar to the songs found in that playlist. All right, so here we are. And I can preview them if I like. Yeah, pretty good. We got her in here. I love her. Yeah, so I would say it's pretty good. And yeah, I don't know a lot of these artists in here. And that's good because, again, this is all about discovery, right? And now what I can do is I can just save all of these to a Spotify playlist so I can listen to them later on, even when I'm not in front of my computer. All right, so that's it for track discovery. Now let's take a look at library conversion before we end this review. So perhaps the most powerful feature of Record Cloud is the ability to convert your library from one DJ app to another. And you do this by going to the Download Library tab, as I've done. And it allows you to export your library as a record box, tractor, virtual DJ, or Serato library. And you can then enable various library options, such as retaining hotkeys, applying the nearest hotkey colors, and so on. They vary from app to app. So let's try it out by going to virtual DJ, because this is what we want to do. So You've got options here, change color to the nearest because yeah, the colors here in Virtual DJ are different compared to the other apps. So if when you have this tick, Record Cloud will approximate the colors found uh, when you've added them under the hotkeys, which is cool. And you also can have crate folders here. So if you're coming from Serato, for example, and you've got crate folders, having this ticked will emulate that folder over in Virtual DJ. So once I'm happy with that, I can just click on Download Virtual DJ Zip. Save that to my hard drive. It's a tiny little file. And then I can unzip this. There you go. Now I've got the database XML file for Virtual DJ as well as the playlist folder. Now what I need to do is I need to go to my Virtual DJ folder and I need to replace the existing database.xml file along with the playlist folder. I'm just going to open another window over here and I'm going to go to Virtual DJ. Here we are. So this is the database file that I want to overwrite. And this is the playlist folder that I want to overwrite as well. So let's start off just by copying these. And I'm going to choose Replace. There we are. So now we've got our database file in here, as well as our playlist folder in here. Now, all that's needed is to run Virtual DJ. Here we go. Now I'm going to go to Lists and Advice. Go to playlists, and I've got my collection in here. So these are all my songs. And I've got my playlists in here as well. So there you go. Pretty cool. Now, what I can do is I can simply just drag and drop these. And I've got my cue points already over in here because these are cue points that I added over in Serato and now they're showing up over here in Virtual DJ. So pretty cool and quick and easy to do. 
All right, there was a lot to take in there. And having gone through the features, I can really say that it is a Swiss Army knife for DJs. But, you know, just like a Swiss Army knife, it's likely that you will be using all of these features all of the time. So, you know, ultimately, it becomes a question of whether or not it's worth paying the subscription fee in order to take advantage of the features that you do use or that you think that you're going to use. And at $15 a month, this cost stacks on top of other subscriptions you may have got going, including you know your music streaming service, your DJ app if you're using something like Recordbox 6, your cloud locker if you're subscribed to that, maybe you've got Dropbox or Google Drive or InFlight uh, if you've got like a DJ download pool subscription and so on. Now, if you're a mobile or professional or gigging DJ who works with a huge library and you deal with clients who like to send song lists for their events and you like to switch from one DJ app to another on occasion, I think it's worth the investment and I would go for the annual subscription just to save it comes out at 50% the cost uh, compared to paying for the monthly subscription fee. Now, if you're a hobbyist who will only be using certain features, uh, it's a bit of a harder decision. I think that having an a la carte option would be nice. For example, if you just want to convert your library from one DJ app to another, a one month subscription would be overkill. Uh, you can basically do the converting in an afternoon over a cup of coffee. So maybe a one time payment that's cheaper than 15 bucks would be more attractive. Overall, Record Cloud is a powerful music management service that will only get better over time and you'll want to check it out if you're interested in any of the features I mentioned in this video. I've also got the full review over on the Digital DJ Tips site where I go into more detail on the other features of Record Cloud. I've got the link to that in the description box below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you aren't subscribed yet. That's it for me. My name is Joey. Get good, get out there, and make the moments.